Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a really exciting video. I'm doing a St. Patrick's Day makeup tutorial. I'm also collabing with someone that I have looked up to and the second I saw her channel, I was like, where has she been? I mean, I literally was like gasping at how beautiful she is and also so talented and able to do really, really creative looks, but somehow they're so wearable. I don't know if they're just a wearable for her or if I could do that, but inspires me to really do something different. So I think I've done that today. I've kind of dipped my toe in the water and we're gonna kind of move into some more creative looks. So I wanna say thank you to her for that. And it is It's Likely Makeup. I'm sure you guys all have heard me talk about her before. I have talked about her on Snapchat, talked to her about her on my YouTube channel. She's gorgeous. She wears wigs and contacts and wears all these different colors of makeup and hair and it's so beautiful every single time. She just morphs into like just like anything really and it's just so pretty to watch. I find her so interesting. Her personality is so relaxed and she's a little bit different than most beauty gurus, which is what I love. Just very unique. So if you're looking for someone to watch that has out of the box a makeup, I'm talking like neons and bright reds and cut creases and black lipstick and all of the things that you might be afraid to do that you wanna watch someone do that maybe might inspire you a little bit, I would definitely check out It's Likely Makeup. Her name is Jordy. She's so beautiful. She's tutorial based. I think she does actually mostly like 99% tutorials and I'm just so inspired by her. So when we kind of got together to collab, I was actually like so shocked that she even knew who I was, let alone would collab with me. I'm just so inspired by her and I think she's a kind, sweet, gorgeous person. So I'm so excited to be collabing with her. We are going to do a St. Patrick's Day look and I knew that she was gonna do something spectacular so I felt like I had to step my game up a little bit and try to get outside of my comfort zone. So hopefully I did that for you guys today. If you're interested in seeing how I did this look, please keep watching and also I will have Jordy's channel linked down below. If you don't already watch her, which I'm sure a lot of you do, please go over there and let her know that I sent you. I know you guys will love her. You love my tutorials. You will fall in love with her. So please make sure to check her out and let's get into the actual tutorial. All right guys, we're doing a full face. So I'm gonna start with foundation. I'm mixing this NYX Total Control with my Marc Jacobs Remarkable. I just like the coverage of the Marc Jacobs. To be honest, the NYX is a good coverage as well, but I just liked mixing them. I mix foundations every day. So I sped up this footage because it is quite boring, but I'm just going to stipple this on my face with a beauty blender. And if you're wondering what my brows look like with nothing on them since I did get them microbladed, this is it. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer. I'm using the new NARS Soft Matte Complete Coverage. I'm mixing two shades. Wow, I'm super extra, sorry about that. But I just wanted to get a mixture of the shades because I felt like one's too light and one's too dark. So I'm gonna apply that and then I'm gonna blend it out with my Beauty Blender. I did a little bit on my chin and above my lip. I usually don't do that, but I thought I would be extra since I'm doing super glam in this video. So again, you can get a look at my brows. Um, they do lighten, obviously, when I put foundation on them, but it makes doing my brows a lot easier. I'm gonna do a microblading video sometime soon. You guys had been requesting that, but really great decision for me. So if you're looking into it, just make sure that you find an amazing artist. Anyways, back to the video. So now I'm going to set my under eyes. I'm using the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I love this one. Actually, it like has replaced my Laura Mercier. So if you are looking for a good uh, setting powder, I would definitely recommend this one. It just doesn't um, grabbed any dry patches. It doesn't look cakey. It just looks really nice on the skin So I'm actually going to bake under my eyes and then I'm going to use my beauty blender to stipple it in to my face to set my face This really makes my foundation lock in all day So if you have problems with your foundation kind of coming off This is a good tip that I would tell you if I'm going to an event or something like that I definitely do this then I'm gonna wipe away that powder. I'm just using a Morphe brush. You can see I've drawn my brows on now. So I'm just wiping away all the powder so we can get into this eye look. I am gonna blow this out a lot so I don't want anything under my eyes. I had to do my concealer first. So first I'm gonna go into Melt Cosmetics Neon Shadow. This is from their stack, the neon like um, stack that they had. I purchased this recently and I'm literally gonna blow this all the way out. So basically I'm using a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe M504 and I'm 
basically blending this all over my lid and my crease, almost basically touching my eyebrows. I'm going on the inner part of my eyes, you can see there. And then I'm gonna use the same, oh no, not the same brush, but a similar brush. It's just like a pointed fluffy brush, again from Morphe. I will have everything linked down below. And you're just going to sweep this back and forth heavily on your lower lash line, like lower than it feels natural to do. So now I'm going in to another color. This is like the neon green color from the stack, same um, melt stack. And I'm using that pointed brush and I'm going to basically go over the yellow that we did, but I'm gonna try to stay a little bit lower. So the yellow was super smoked out and this is going to be mildly smoked out. Also applying this all over my lid. And this is gonna take a lot of building. So you're just gonna keep blending, keep building, keep blending, keep building. These uh, looks do take more time, so just have a little bit more patience. You're just gonna have to keep building up the color. So now I'm going into the Morphe 35U. I was just mixing colors because I was like, just basically finding all the greens that I had. So you see me getting, we're going lighter to dark here. So using that same brush, again, same thing. We're gonna layer this on, but we're gonna keep it tighter in the crease. This is gonna start deepening up that color just a little bit slowly by, uh, slowly by slowly, slowly but surely. And again, we're going to sweep this on the lower lash line. I kept switching brushes. I'm not really used to making things this dramatic. So I was just kind of like, you know, flying by the seat of my pants. Is that the same? So now I'm going into the 35S from Morphe and this is the deepest color that I'm gonna use. This is like a deep forest green. And this one is matte. I would use a matte if you have it, but if you don't, I wouldn't like freak out. Just use whatever you have. And I'm using a pencil brush on the lower lash line and I'm just going to start building up that deep color. And then I'm gonna start smoking it out and you're just gonna continually do that until you feel like it's dramatic enough. And trust me, you're gonna need layers and layers and that's okay. So now I'm applying some lashes. These are Violet Voss, and I, I forget the name. I'll put them down below. And then I'm gonna contour my face. So I'm gonna use my TARDIS contour kit. I love this kit. Obviously I've hit pan, and I'm really going to contour the shit out of my face. I have a rounder face, so I like to have a strong contour. I'm not blessed with like amazing cheekbones, so I have to slim my face somehow. And I'm gonna go in and I am going to bronze my face. I'm using an oldie. This is a Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion. I haven't used this in a long time and it's okay. I'm not in love. I was trying to grab some products that I already had on hand because I feel like I use the same bronzers. But I just was like, mm, this didn't really do much for me. So it's not one of my favorites, but I just... It was in my top drawer, so I decided to use it. And then I thought I would go in with a different colored blush since I'm kind of going all out. This is one of my favorites, but I never use it. This is Urban Decay Bittersweet. I feel like I've used this in one tutorial and I ended up loving it. It's like a scary purple shade, but it's really beautiful on the cheeks. So I'm gonna use my Smith brush, I love this brush, to apply it to the apples of my cheeks. And then we are going to go in with some liner on the lower lash line. I didn't have any lime green liners, um, but I just used a black liner. You can use a dark green liner, black, brown, white, whatever you're feeling, but I'm gonna smoke out that lower lash line even more, so I applied that, and then I am just using a pencil brush from Spectrum Collections, and I'm just smoking that out even further. And I thought, you know what, what the hell, let's go in with the Lucky Clover, since this is a St. Patty's Day tutorial. This is the Anastasia Moonchild palette. Uh, in hindsight, I probably, this is like a little bit too icy for this look, but it ended up looking okay, but I probably would have gone for more of like a yellow, yellow gold highlight. Um, but you live and you learn. Sometimes I just throw shit together, actually all the time, and I just hope that it works. So I'm just using a Morphe fan brush and highlighting my face, and then I'm gonna go in with some mascara. And I believe this is the Urban Decay Perversion. That's my favorite mascara, I just love it so much. And then I was like, you know what, let me try this new trend. And this is putting a crystal on your lower lash line. So I just took a little bit of lash glue and put a little dot on my lower lash line and took my tweezers and popped on that crystal. These are actually crystals I have for my nails. So you can probably get crystals from Michaels or something, but I just used what I had on hand. And then I'm going in with lips. I want to do a super muted nude, and this is Ofra Cosmetics Dubai, and that is it. I hope you guys love this. Let me know if you want more dramatic looks. Don't forget to check out It's Likely Makeup. She's fucking stunning. You will love her. Don't forget to subscribe. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.